So Deliver Us Mars is about Kathy Johansson and Mission Opera, which is a mission that is about retrieving these free planet-saving vessels back from Mars. But right now they're in the hands of a insurgent group known as Outward. Now Kathy has a personal mission as well. She wants to go there because one of the Outward leaders is actually her long-lost father. So it's not going to be an easy mission. The first game was really great in terms of setting up a world and setting up a big problem that was facing our planet. So it is climate change that is addressed in a game. Climate change isn't a planet's problem. The planet don't care. I mean, it's still here uh, in like billions of years. So it's, it's a human problem because we are destroying something that we need. So we wanted to see, could we actually ask that question, like what is the human core at a center that makes this so difficult and make this a human problem? And I think that that's something that will resonate with players and will also just challenge them to think about this in a new light. For people who haven't played Deliver's Moon, we uh, really did our best to make Deliver's Mars this standalone game. So anything that was important from the first game, we really encapsulated those story beats into this one. We've used a lot of different ways of telling the story, also through collectibles, through these little scattered pieces of information you can find in the world. And to implement that is the team effort. It's something that starts with the idea on a page, but it has to be talked about and discussed with level design has to line up Art needs to know what happens. Animation needs to know how we do it. Game design needs to be on board. So it's all these disciplines that all need to understand and align on what it's supposed to communicate at the end of the road. So in Deliver Us the Moon, we mostly conveyed our emotions through body motion, and the cutscenes were mostly with a character with a helmet on, so you couldn't really see a lot of things. When we made the next step to Mars, we wanted to sort of bridge that gap so people could get more closer to Kathy and more personal. And the first obvious step was to build a face rig, and the face uh, is something that we have never tackled before, so that was a really huge new thing for us. Once the body data uh, is delivered to our mocap specialists, narrative and animation uh, went to the studio. Narrative did sort of the directing of the, the shots. And while the directing was happening, we could see a live feed of everything that the actors were doing with the body data. To so looking at the characters and see what went wrong so we could sort of talk and see all the little things that we need to change up to make the performance as believable as possible. That's one of the hardest things in animation, to make two people work together. And motion capture is a really nice solution for that to, to make sure that those two things are always like as tight as possible. Because we knew Delivers Mars was going to be a game that was going to, you know, rely on the drama, on the story, on, uh, on the performances of these characters as well, we spent a lot of time casting. The casting process took months and it took a lot of actors and uh, just to pass through our lens. And still, funnily enough, of course, one of the first ones we saw was Elise. And Elise was, uh, I think, one of our favorites from the get-go. Kathy isn't an easy character, right? She's a character that can easily come across as naive or selfish or even a bit reckless. To find someone who can balance that side that is a little bit more, you know, bratty and loud with a sensibility that is honest and authentic, that's, I think that's a difficult combination to find. And Elise knocked it out of the park. Directing her was easy because she was more directing me to the character sometimes. I personally am the proudest of how far we have pushed the cinematics and the drama of the game. We're an indie studio, you know, we're still a small group of people, but we've worked so hard in making a story unfold in such a strong, dramatic way. And I think we really pulled it off. And I think we found a way to mimic that big urgency into a very, like, intimate, personal storyline. And that will keep you as a person, I think, connected to this grand idea of, you know, go save a planet. <laughs>